Hello everybody, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. This one, I'm gonna show you how to sharpen any image. And I'm gonna go with a very difficult one here. This image is 161 years old. This is Lincoln visiting the battlefield of Antietam, or Antietam, I can't, I'm not 100% sure on the pronouncing on that. Please correct me in the comments below, but there he is. And if we zoom in close, it's a great image. It's, again, it's 160 odd years old, but it's not that sharp. There's some blurring here and the edges aren't very, uh, distinct as you can see here. But if you take a look at this, we gone ahead and sharpened it up a bit. And if you want to go a little further, we've got it very, very sharp. And you can definitely see the people are a lot more distinct from the background. We sharpened it. Let me show you exactly how I did that. So I'm going to delete these layers and we're going to get cracking. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and create a duplicate layer of this. I'm going to drag and drop it on that little plus at the bottom here. And now let's go. What we want to do is we want to go to filter and then you want to avoid going to sharpen. I mean, unsharp mask will work and so will smart sharpen and these other ones. But what I want to show you is camera raw filter. Camera raw filter has great sharpening tools and they allow you to be very precise. So what you want to do again, you want to go in there and now open up detail. Just click on detail and you'll see here that you can just sort of tune up and pull sharpening. So I'm gonna pull sharpening to about 100, about to 80, and I'm gonna zoom in just for you know effect, and here's why I really like that. So if I'm focusing on Lincoln's face here, look, as I go sharp or as I go non-sharp, you can see this in real time pretty much right as you do it. So this is really, really cool for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna jack this up to about 80, and I'm gonna change the radius down to say something like 0.7. I don't want a very big radius and detail, depending on the look you're going for. You can make it less detailed or more detailed. I kind of like 25. You can mask it or not mask it. And the other option, and this is a really cool one before we, well, let's do noise reduction first. I'll show you noise reduction. So we're getting rid of some of the noise, but if you go too far, you lose a little bit of that, you know, detail and it starts to look a little bit like cartoony. So be very careful with this. But if you're on a PC, hold down the alt, you're on a Mac, hold down Option, and now start pulling on some of these things and watch what happens. See, you can see exactly the negative. So you're basically working with the negative. So as I pull the radius up, I pull the radius down, you can see exactly kind of what you're doing here. So it just gives you another option to look at it here. If I pull the detail up, I'm gonna eh, pull it too far. Let's go back to 80, but there you go. So those are the two options. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK. And now if we compare it, let's zoom in a bit here. If I compare it to the original shot, blurry-ish around the edges, a little bit better. Maybe not as much as you'd like. Don't worry about that. Watch this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag and drop that onto the plus and I'm going to duplicate that. And when you do that, you'll see it got a little bit sharper. But what you can do now is you can go up to filter, camera raw filter, and sometimes it's better this way to do multiple layers or multiple passes on this so that you're kind of sharpening it in increments as opposed to one big go. So I'm gonna again increase the sharpening on this layer and then maybe I'll pull the radius down, a little more detail, a little bit of masking and a little more noise reduction, something like that. Mm, yeah, let's see, how does that look? Maybe sharpening it to about 30 and there you go. I mean, you could just dialing it in. Now I'm gonna click okay and look at that. Here's the original here is the adjusted shot, nice and sharp. This is the technique, of course, get it the way you want it, but this is how you sharpen an image inside Photoshop, in my opinion. Thanks for watching.